four-day visit of U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet L. Yellen to China resulted into no significant developments even after she indulged in 10 hours of discussions with her Chinese counterparts. Neither of the two nations made official announcements of any developments or agreements, nor were there any official remarks on policy issues. Despite that, Yellen stated that the meetings were direct and productive and hoped that they might help in stabilizing the rocky relationship that the two nations have. Although Yellen criticized China for the harsh measures it has imposed on American companies and she added that it is important for both countries to build resilience as well as diversify supply chains. She also stressed that the US never had plans to completely separate the two biggest economies of the world as decoupling would destabilize the global economy. Yellen saw her visit to China as a step towards reviving the US-China relationship that has been hit hard in recent years due to disputes over technology, security and other irritants. The two countries have been indulged in a semiconductor war where most recently China imposed export controls on essential elements gallium and germanium. Following this, the U.S. announced its plans to restrict Chinese authorities' access to U.S. cloud computing service, which allow Chinese AI companies and other customers to gain powerful computing abilities. Earlier, Washington imposed restrictions on the export of certain sophisticated computer chips to China, after which the Chinese government banned the use of chips and products from the U.S. chipmaker company Micron. U.S. and China are also not on good terms regarding the Ukraine war as Biden has outrightly condemned Russia for invading Ukraine while China has been providing political support to Russian President Vladimir Putin. China has also escalated trade ties with Russia to support it financially after it witnessed revenue loss due to Western sanctions. Meanwhile, Washington had warned Beijing to not provide military support to Kremlin. However, Chinese authorities have turned deaf ears to it. US has also been agitated of China's increasing territorial claims over Taiwan. As a result, American politicians such as Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan to show its support, which was intimidated by China to show its dominance. Despite U.S. President Joe Biden and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping agreeing to improve relations, ties between the two nations were worsened over various issues. Whether Yellen's visit to China has been fruitful in calming down tensions between the two countries will only be explained in the upcoming September G20 summit in New Delhi, which might be attended by President Biden and Xi Jinping.